Thanks for joining me today. This is Jen Lee with Gentastic Journey, and today we are going to create a gorgeous card. And this is a fall card for Thanksgiving. I've got an orange base, and then I'm using a design piece of paper or pattern paper. Just as a little scene, you can get these anywhere. This is really thin paper, but it's a nice fall background. And I'm going to make this card super simple and quick because I've got a lot of cards to make. And this is a series I'm doing on Thanksgiving cards specifically. So even if you don't have all the card making supplies, you could easily make this card. Again, just pick a little scene, pick some card stock to have as a background piece. And then I'm looking at different ribbon that I have. This one is kind of a fuzzy, like suede feeling ribbon, but it doesn't really match my leaves very well. So I'm going to play around with this for a minute, but I think I'm going to go with one that has a little bit more sparkles like those leaves. So here's the one I end up going with. It's a wired piece of ribbon and I got this from Hobby Lobby. I think I got the stickers from Hobby Lobby as well. I put everything in the description box below. So I researched and figure out where I got everything and then I put it in the description box below. So you could purchase it if you need more supplies, but just look in your stash and see what you have as far as stickers and ribbons and you can make this super easy. This card literally took me just about 10 or 15 minutes and for you you've got a little bit sped up so you get to see it in about four or five minutes. And then this is a sentiment that I put together by just die cutting it out in the off-white color and then I took some little pieces of the extra that I had for the background piece of orange paper and I just fit it all the way around and I love to be able to use all my little scraps and so that you can't even tell that those are all four different little pieces. So I decided I'm going to put it here in the middle between the scene and the ribbon. And then I'll put these two beautiful leaves. They're super sparkly. They're actually made out of fabric. It had a little piece of foam, but I took that off and I put the glue on the fabric itself. I had to let the glue dry and then I put another layer of glue and then just popped something heavy on top of it so that it gets nice and glued down. And then I took my orange marker. This is a tri blend marker from Spectrum Noir and I'll include this in the description box below as well. These are awesome markers because they have three of a color so if you have to shade anything then they're great. And then I have my Wink of Stella which I believe that the more sparkle the better <laughs> when it comes to holiday cards and so when I get my Wink of Stella out you see I can't even stop. I'm like oh maybe a little bit on the orange and maybe a little bit on this <laughs> but I think it came out really nice and sparkly and now we're going to put it on the actual card base itself. And with this because it's got the ribbon on it, um, I'm not able to just glue it down. I'm afraid that might look a little bit wavy and I don't want this card to look wavy. So the way to get around that is just to pop the rest of it up on some foam tape. And then you can't tell that there's something a little bit, you know, higher in dimension on the back of the card. So there it is. And then we're going to put a, a little sentiment in the inside. And again, this is the piece that I cut off of the cardstock that I used as the background piece. And then I'm going to stamp Happy Thanksgiving and this is in my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink and we'll put that right in the center there. Really simple and you don't even have to do that. You could have just left it blank if you wanted to. So again a beautiful card. This is one of many Thanksgiving cards so stick with me and watch for more card tutorials. They're all fast and easy. My favorite kind. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you would, please click the like button if you enjoyed this. And then also subscribe to my channel. It's a small channel and I love having you come along with me on this fantastic journey. Thanks so much for joining today.